Do you get radiation after mastectomy and you're thinking of getting breast reconstruction? If so, in this video, I'm going to share with you the top three things you need to know to get successful breast reconstruction. I'm Dr. Yi Li. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. I specialize in breast reconstruction and breast rejuvenation working here in Los Angeles. Sadly, I see many women with suboptimal results after getting the wrong breast reconstruction after they've been radiated. This is a 36 year old lady who was diagnosed with left breast cancer that had spread to her axillary lymph nodes. Right from the beginning, because of her young age and strong family history, she decided to get a double mastectomy. She was told by her surgeons that she would have to get radiation to the left chest wall after her mastectomy. Sadly, she met the wrong plastic surgeon who gave her the wrong surgery with disastrous consequences. Needless to say, her reconstructive journey was filled with unnecessary pain and sadness. We'll come back to her a bit later in the video, so stay tuned. If you've had radiation after mastectomy, by the end of this video, you will know the top three secrets to getting successful breast reconstruction after radiation. So let's get started. Number one, what is radiation? What are the special considerations for getting successful breast reconstruction after you've been radiated? Number two, what is the best time to get reconstruction after radiation? And number three, what is the most important secret to getting successful reconstruction after radiation? Radiation is a form of high energy treatment used to kill any hidden cancer cells close to the area of the original cancer to prevent the cancer coming back. Treatment is typically carried out daily over several weeks after you've recovered from lumpectomy or mastectomy. The problem with radiation is it can have some effects on the local tissues that affect its ability to heal. Therefore, reconstruction after radiation is different from treatment of tissue that has not been radiated. For instance, skin that's been radiated typically will go darker in color in a process known as hyperpigmentation. Radiated muscle also behaves differently. It tends to be thicker and more contracted and scarred, something known as fibrosis of the muscle. Radiation can also have effects on the lungs and the heart, depending on the location. It is important that before you get radiation, you meet with your radiation oncologist to talk about the risks and benefits of this treatment. The third and most important take home message from this video is after you've been radiated and you're thinking of getting breast reconstruction, you must get autologous reconstruction. Autologous reconstruction means that we're gonna take some tissue from you, healthy tissue that has not been radiated, and move it to the area to make you a breast. This is typically known as some kind of flap surgery. For instance, you could have DIEP or deep flap from the abdomen, or from the back, you can have a latissimus flap, which is something I specialize in. I'll be doing future videos to talk about these in a bit more detail. If you're finding this video to be helpful, please hit like and subscribe, and also put in any questions that you may have, and I'll cover them in future videos. Let's go back to that patient I talked about at the beginning of this video. As I said before, she had a double mastectomy, she then had left chest wall radiation, and then her plastic surgeon decided to put tissue expanders in her. So for those of you who are not familiar, this is a tissue expander. It's like an empty implant. And after you've healed, which is two or three weeks after, um, you come to the office and you have fluid put in to expand and stretch the tissues. The problem with that, I already told you, when you've been radiated, your tissues tend to be very tight and very scarred. And so while she was having her expansion, her wound opened up and the implant got infected and her surgeon pulled out the tissue expander in the office while she was awake. This was a very traumatic and uncomfortable feeling for her. So after that, she never went back and her breast surgeon referred her to see me urgently. At that point, she'd only recently gotten radiation. And as I told you before, I normally wait 12 months. So I told her, come back and see me for a year and we will fix the left side. But in the meantime, because her right tissue expander was uncomfortable, I took her to the surgery and I basically took out the expander and put in an implant and I revised her scar. And at one year, I then came back, I did the latissimus flap from the back and I put in an implant at the same time. And here you can see she has a successful result and she's much happier and healthy. Now that you've learned how to get successful breast reconstruction after radiation, I have one more essential video you simply cannot afford to miss. The most important thing about getting successful breast reconstruction after radiation is getting the right plastic surgeon for you. Not every plastic surgeon is equipped or experienced to deal with reconstruction after radiation. Check out this video to find the best plastic surgeon for you 
and get the best reconstruction that you so deserve.